Okay, talk about Roddy Rich's. Y'all want to call it a flop? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me bring this up. Okay, here we go. So Roddy Rich is expected to sell 64. Well, not even expected. I think it's about finalized now. It definitely, from what I heard, so less than 64. Um, here's the thing. I think Roddy Rich was just a little bit confused. And I don't think he cares about numbers that much. But I think Roddy Rich was under the assumption that because his songs and these singles were going crazy, that he didn't need to put out music. I just don't think his project is that bad. And I and here's the thing. Numbers is so much brainwashing these days that people are looking at numbers and be like, yo, I told you the shit was mid. Project ain't that bad. The thing is, Roddy just took too long. And when you take so long after dropping some mega singles, your next couple singles got to be mega singles. He never had another box. There's no other song like the box on this project. So that's why he's going to do 64. Now, he might not care. He might just be like, whatever. It's cool. But, of course, fans are going to care. It's going to affect how they're thinking about his project because they, they're, they're thinking, oh, damn, we thought you were hot as fuck and you were going to... Shit, I thought he was going to sell 150 maybe 200 When we see this, we're like, damn, whatever. But I'm not going to judge him for it. it, it it's To me, he's just f***ed up on not realizing that he's not as hot as he thought he was. And, w and what does that mean? You got to release music. Roddy's music ain't the music to hold you like J. Cole or Kendrick's music. Bro, you drop songs that are infectious and addicting and catchy. Drop some singles. You shouldn't have went two years without dropping or three years. If you ask me. The album, was it good? I thought it was cool. I'm not going to say it's like amazing. I thought it was cool. 